Hi, in this video we'll show the use of the second variable Dropbox in Insight. The video starts with the dataset Census at School 500 already imported and the numeric variable Height already dragged to the variable 1 box. I'll now drag Gender into the variable 2 box. Gender is a categorical variable. The single dot plot of heights for everyone has been replaced by two dot plots, one for each gender group, plotted against the same horizontal scale. Separate dot plots of the numeric variable for each of the groups defined by the categorical variable is the default when one of our variables is numeric and the other is categorical. When I click Get Summary now, the summary statistics are given separately for each group. When I drag travel to variable 2, I get separate dot plots for each of the six groups defined by how the students travelled to school. Now I'll drag right foot into the second slot. I now have numeric variables in both slots. I've been given a scatter plot. Scatter plots are the default plot type for two numeric variables. The first variable is on the vertical axis, and the second variable is on the horizontal axis. We'll now move on to the case of two categorical variables. First I'll clear the variables. Now I'll drag the categorical variable cell source to the variable 1 box. I get a bar chart of the percentages of people falling into each of the groups defined by how they paid for their cell phone usage. This is the cell source distribution for the whole data set. Next I'll drop gender into slot 2. Now the cell source distributions are depicted separately for the two categories of gender. The cell source distribution for females is coloured in dull green, and the cell source distribution for males in dusty pink. These are called side-by-side -side bar charts, which is Insight's default plot type when both variables are categorical. I'll now drag travel into the variable 2 box. Again we have side-by-side -side bar charts, this time showing the cell source distribution separately for the six categories of travel. The cell source distribution for students who travel by bike is in brown, while the cell source distribution for students who walked is in pink. We notice that the bars have very different widths. The width of the bar is determined by the size of the group. The number of students who travel by bike is much smaller than the number who travel by bus, walked, or in the catch-all category other. We can see this as the brown bike bars are much narrower than those of bus, walk, or other. We'll conclude by showing the effect of using the arrow keys when we have two variables. Let's use gender as variable 2 and click inside the variable 1 box. Using the up and down arrow keys lets us explore quickly every other variable plotted against gender. Going down. I'll now put height in the variable 1 slot. and click inside the variable 2 slot. Using the up and down arrow keys lets us quickly see height plotted against every other variable. Going up. Going down. The next movie will explore the use of the subsetting slots, the third and fourth drop boxes.